What is up everyone? Sorry if I look a little bit dead today. I had a very interesting experience of being locked out of my house at 3 a.m. last night. But I've got a brand new tutorial for you guys today. As per requests on yesterday's incredibly weird live stream on the second channel, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade and mod Beat Saber 1.18.0. The last video I made like this, the problem with it was I never showed you how to downgrade Beat Saber, because at the time version 1.17.0 was the latest version. And the thing is, you can't actually mod Beat Saber 1.18.0 just yet. So without a further ado, let's get right into the video. So. As I've mentioned, you cannot mod Beat Saber 1.18.0 with BMBF, so first you're going to need to downgrade to version 1.17.1 and mod that instead. Now, it's a lot easier than you may think, but there's a lot of things that could go wrong, which I learned the hard way, but thankfully, I'm here to tell you that so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. So first of all, you're going to require your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2. Works on both. Then you are going to require either a PC or an Android phone in order to download the downgraded APK. I would also recommend to disable multi-user accounts and family app sharing, because when I had this on, it actually didn't let me install APKs. Yes, it just crashed every time. So in case you're having any issues, disable it, but I guess you can try without disabling it first. All I know is that I had issues. Also, I would like to note that the method we are using today is actually going to work on any Oculus app ever. So in case Oculus ever releases an update to an app and you don't like it, it's bad, or they broke something, you can actually downgrade any app using this method. And I'm going to show you a few different methods so that you can choose the one that you like the most. I also feel the need to mention this, but you obviously need to have Beat Saber purchased in order for this to work. It will not work on the trial version of the app. And same with literally any other app. If it's a paid app and you want to downgrade it, you need to have bought it first. You can't just download the APK, which is why it's perfectly legal that we're doing this. Switching over to our PC, what I've actually been recommended by my Discord and I found works incredibly well is this Chrome plugin by Basti. So in case you want to download this plugin for yourself, it's actually incredible. So as you can see right now, I'm not signed into Oculus, which means that the website will actually not show me the downgrade button. So let me sign in. I don't know why the Oculus website is so slow today. Actually, it's been this slow for about a week. I don't know if I'm the only one having this problem. I mean, just look at this. Anyway, now that I'm signed in, I should be able to launch the Beat Saber page on the Oculus Store page, and you'll see a nice little downgrade button just show up. However, there is also a website that you can visit where you can download the APKs in case you don't want to install the extension, or in case you're doing this on your phone, because on your phone, you will also somehow need to download the APK. Now, it is also important to note that if you are using this website, you still need to be signed in to oculus.com because the website still checks if you have purchased Beat Saber or not. So as you can see right here, right now, on the Beat Saber page, not only can I downgrade Beat Saber itself, but I can also downgrade all the add-ons. So what you want to do is you want to click on the downgrade button and download 1.17.1. As you can see, it's going to download in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, if you are doing this on your phone, it's as simple as entering that website that I was telling you about, typing in Beat Saber and downloading the latest 1.17.1 APK from there. Exact same thing goes for if you're using this website on your phone. You need to be signed into oculus.com first and then visit the website on your phone to get the APK. Now, let's hop on to actually sideloading it to the Quest. As you can see here right now, I've got Beat Saber 1.17.1 downloaded and installed and modded. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just straight up going to uninstall it so that we can start straight from scratch. Now, if you already had BMBF downloaded and installed, you can just install over it. I don't know how BMBF is with keeping songs or anything like that. So plugging the Oculus Quest into your computer, you want to make sure that you actually have developer mode enabled, just like for literally any other app. And then on your PC, make sure you have SideQuest installed. Thankfully, SideQuest can be installed on any PC. It doesn't need to be a VR-ready PC. Now, once you've got SideQuest installed, go up into the top right corner here, install APK, click on that Beat Saber APK, and it's going to install onto your Oculus Quest. Now, what you also want to do is in here, you want to search for BMBF. Click on it. And as you can see right now, the latest version is 1.15 and install it to the headset. If you're using an Android phone, first of all, you're going to want to download the SideQuest app from the Google Play Store. That is, of course, after you've already downloaded the APK from earlier. As well as the SideQuest app and the APK, you will also require an app called Bug Jaeger. So download that. You will need that in order to sideload the Beat Saber APK to your Quest. Now connect your Oculus Quest to your phone using either an OTG adapter or the cable provided with the Oculus Quest 2, 
and fire up Bug Jaeger. Once you connect your quest to your phone, you're gonna get a bunch of prompts and just accept all of those. As usual, just make sure you have developer mode enabled. Those prompts won't show up if you don't. Firing up Bug Jaeger, you wanna click on this little icon right here and select the APK that you downloaded earlier, the Beat Saber APK. Once that's installed, you want to fire up the side quest app on your phone and install BMBF. That should be as simple as firing up side quest, searching for BMBF and clicking install to headset. Once you've done that, you can now put your headset back on. So as you can see, I instantly got a message saying an update is available for Beat Saber. However, we're just going to entirely ignore that. Go up into the top right here, go to unknown sources and click on BMBF. BMBF should launch, telling you that you now need to mod Beat Saber, just like this. Some people say that you should launch Beat Saber at least once before modding it for the first time. So if you have any issues, do that, but I just never had any issues. So I'm now going to click uninstall Beat Saber, click OK. Now patch Beat Saber, this is going to take a while. And now you're ready to install modded Beat Saber. Now it might ask you to allow unknown sources here if you're installing for the very first time, so make sure to do that. But once you've allowed unknown sources, go back and click install. Now, chances are your install setup will crash during this process, so it'll say package manager has stopped responding. Make sure to click wait and not close. Close will just crash it and not finish the install procedure. So this is actually where it would normally crash for me when I had um, multi-user accounts and family app sharing enabled. So if it crashes for you here or doesn't install, try and turn that off. So I just got the message. I'm going to make sure to click wait. And now you can see the app has successfully been installed. So you want to click done and BMBF should update saying that, hey, it's actually installed now. So I'm going to have to close BMBF first. The Oculus Quest is incredibly unhappy with me right now. Wow, very unhappy. I'm going to make sure that Beat Saber is actually installed and it is right there. You can see it. So I'm going to go back into unknown sources, click on a BMBF once again. And this time, once it turns on, it should show you the standard BMBF menu, allowing you to download all your songs and everything like that. You can see here all my mom's songs, so I'm going to click Sync to Beat Saber up in the top right corner. It's going to sync all of that, and now I can successfully start Beat Saber. Or, of course, if you want to play around with your mods, you've got all of them right here. And if you want to download songs, you can go into the song browser here or in game because the new Beat Saber does actually have a song browser in game. And of course, in case you want to know how to install mods, etc., make sure to check out this video right up here. But we're just going to start up Beat Saber to make sure that it works. And now you can click continue and straight away. You can see to the left here, you've got your song downloader where you can download all your songs straight from the game. So. There you guys go. That is how simple it is to downgrade from Beat Saber 1.18.0 or any version in the future, because this should be the exact same process for any other Beat Saber version. So even if you're modding in the future, BMBF should allow you to do this exact same process. And that is literally how simple it is. This video was requested, so I decided, you know what? Let's make it. If people want to see me doing this, I'll show it to them. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope I could help you guys out. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to smack that subscribe button down below. It only takes you a few seconds and helps the channel out a lot. Also, make sure to join our Discord and our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, you should perform. We've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that doesn't put a huge ad in body. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.